ยอาข้าย่อข้าย่อข้าย่อ All praises, glory, and honor be to the power of this universe. Giving thanks unto Yah for each and every one of our lives, for blessing us to live to see a new month, a new holy day, Yom t e r u a h Thanking the Creator for bringing us into the holy season, for sparing our lives, for His mercy, love, and kindness. Let us face the east and raise the ark and pray that the power of this universe remember us in His mercy. May He grant us all a special blessing. May He hear our cries and our plea. May He remember the families throughout this earth in His mercy, and may He continue to watch over us and even spare our lives and take us safely through this holy season. Blessed be His name. Hallelujah. Kuma Yahua. We are fusu oiveka. We are nusu mis aneka mi paneka. Kuma Yahua. We are fusu oiveka. We are nusu mis aneka mi paneka. Kuma Yahua. We are fusu oiveka. We are nusu mis aneka mi paneka. Hallelujah. 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 Kaya. 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 Sila. This is. These, I should say, are some serious times that we're living in. Many individuals have lost their lives throughout the last few months from the time this plague hit the earth. This new plague, known as the coronavirus, the Creator has spared our lives, and do not take this for granted. The Creator, in His mercy, has kept us in good health and strength, and protected our families from this plague that's constantly spreading throughout this earth. And in His mercy, He's allowed us to live to see another holy season, a new month, the month of Etanim. He's brought us safely into this holy day, Yom t e r u a h and we're here to acknowledge Him, to thank Him, to show Him our love and appreciation for Him, our gratitude for Him constantly being there and answering our prayers time and time again. There were many prayers that weren't answered. There are many people who are alive before this pandemic began, and they're not here today as you and I. And we have much to be grateful for, much to give thanks to Yah for, and much to appreciate this power that we serve for. Let us sing the song Baruch Hashem and even bless His name, for truly His name is highly to be praised, and there's none like this created that we serve. The song Baruch Hashem on page six in our s i d o r i n or our song books that is. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah.
Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Almighty King, power of this universe, our power, King on high, forever you reign, O oh Yah. We call upon your name, merciful Father, to acknowledge you, to give thanks to you, considering you in a time when so many are turning elsewhere, when so many believe that politicians can deliver us. When so many are turning to false deities and idols, when the world is confused and there is so much chaos throughout this earth and you are constantly showing people that these false deities are just that, false. That no man can deliver us from the dilemma that we face today the so-called Negro, that these injustices that we are faced with are because we strayed from you, the king of this universe. Give us understanding, almighty Yah. Give us insight, O oh heavenly Father. Help us to understand, O oh Father, how you would have us serve you, how you would have us praise you, how you would have us live before you, how you would have us glorify your name. Help us to understand what it is that you require and desire of us as a people. We can only assume almighty Yah because we've been strayed. We've been astray for so many years. We can only assume what it is that you need and desire of us in this return as we find ourselves because we've been so far from you for so many years. You, Father, know how you desire us to praise you. You, almighty King, know what's required of us. Help us to understand this great King so that we're not guessing, so that we're not assuming, so that we don't think we know it all. So many of our men misleading and misguiding our people. We have very few role models in this earth today, great king. We need you. We need to learn from you. We need understanding from you. We need guidance from you. We need direction from you, almighty king. We know that you are all holy, all perfect, and you cannot be amongst those that choose not to live as such. We pray that you would show us somehow, O oh Father. We pray that you who are all holy and almighty would give us a sign and guide us. That you would deliver us from these days and challenges that we're faced with in these times. The plague that is on the face of this earth that so many are in dread of. We pray that you would shield and protect our family from it that you would watch over our loved ones near and far, that you would remember us throughout this holy season as we usher in this holy season, this new month of Itanim, and even this day, Yom Teruah. We pray that you would help us as we sound the trumpet, as we sound the alarm and let nations know that this holy season is in and there is a power in control of this earth. As we tell the world that there is a power whose hand is in this earth, that there is a power who desires not to give his praise, glory, and honor to anyone else, to man, to these false deities that exist today. 
We pray, Almighty King, that you would remember the families that are calling upon your name as we are this night. Those that are in silent prayer as we are this night. Those that are in their homes or in places such as this, bowing before you, giving praises unto you, acknowledging you, the power of this universe, considering you for all that you've done for us. We pray that you would hear our cry, hear our plea. Look down upon us and see our efforts to return to you in spite of our flaws, great King. We thank you, almighty King, for the breath of life Amen. this night. We thank you, Father, for shielding and protecting us throughout the week and days leading up to this very night. We thank you for answering the many prayers that we offered up unto you, calling upon your name time and time again. We thank you for shielding us from harm and danger. We ask that you would remember those that are ill, that you would heal and strengthen them. That you would remember those families, almighty King, that are in other countries, the family in Guyana, the families in the Holy Land, those throughout the United States of America and the different Israelite communities, almighty Yah. We pray that you would see us as one community and as one family. Remember the family in Chester. Remember us all, though, Yah, and give us understanding and guidance as we're trying to find ourselves in a place that we've been confused and misled and, and gone astray in. To you be the praise, glory, and honor. For there is none like unto you, our king, our power, our creator, our deliverer, our maker. Blessed be your great, high and holy name now and forevermore. Hallelujah! 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 O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Edad. O Baruch Shem Kevot, Malku Tole Olam, Malku Tole Olam, Malku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevot, Malku Tole Olam, Leon Olam, Wahe. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Giving thanks to the power of this universe. Yah is awesome. He is great. Let us utter the words of this new moon prayer in blessing the name of Yah and acknowledging him and thanking him. This is a time to truly consider this power that we serve and know where you stand as an individual. Remember those words because I have some thoughts to share with you or some words to share with you on that thought. The new moon prayer can be found on page 12 and our Sidorim. Let us join our voices and utter the words of this new moon prayer. Hallelujah. Baruch Yehoah Tamid. Baruch Yehoah Notein Levana Leor Bekol Makomenu. Thus saith Yehoah, who giveth the sun for a light by day, and the moon and the stars for a light by night. Yehoah of hosts is his name. If these ordinances depart from before me, saith Yehoah, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Praise Jehovah Israel on the renewing of the moon. His birds stand, his creations remain. Hallelujah. Shema. Shema. Israel. Yahuwah. Oh, 
When I gaze on the works of thy fingers, O Yah, what is man? Israel standeth in thy mercies, Yahweh. In thy faithfulness do we live. Month unto month thou renewest our days, even as thou renewest the moon. Alleluia. Shema. Shema. Israel. Yahweh. This new moon of Itani. Praise ye him on all the days to come. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth Israel slumbereth not nor sleepeth. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Hallelujah. Shema. Shema. Israel. Yah. trumpet sound. Hallelujah. Blessed art thou, Jehovah, who has brought us to another month. Blessed art thou who renewest the months, the moon, and the seasons. Blessed art thou who renewest the lives of thy people, Israel. Hallelujah. I'm not 
you are awesome we can never stop giving enough praise to you we can never stop praying to you great king there is never or no such thing as oh you've said enough prayers there is no way we could even believe that we've given you enough in return for what you continue to do for us you father see and know the future you are putting things in place on our behalf even as we speak things that we have no knowledge of protecting us watching over us you oh heavenly father are lining up vehicles and moving traffic just so that when we leave here this night we all arrive safely to our homes you maneuver this earth to ensure that our prayers are answered. You almighty Yah are there for us even when we make mistakes. There are times when we leave our homes unaware that a tire on our vehicle could be sore. And you Father ensure that we travel safely without a blowout. You almighty Yah see and know these highways that we travel on times when we don't even consider the smallest ways that we could lose our lives a nail on the street that we could end up being the one that get that blowout and have an accident that result in our lives times when we just have fun and don't even realize the danger that we put ourselves in but it is you father that's there keeping us safe freak accidents that we call them where individuals lose their lives but yet none of us had any freak accidents here we stand alive today here we stand with the breath of life in us and able to shout praise to your name father this virus we see time and time again on the news lives being taken in the thousands We've watched the numbers rise from the hundreds to the thousands, then millions across the earth. And yet none of our family or loved ones were affected. We stand alive today. In this month of Itani, we bless your name. We thank you, Father, for good health and strength. To be strong enough to stand and shout praises to you is a blessing. To have been able to travel here this night and be amongst the few that are here is a blessing. To be at home alive and well in the safety of our homes is a blessing. And when we sit down and think of how many blessings we have, they're countless. And yet, it is all because of you, almighty King. What can we give you? All you ask is just to be acknowledged just to be acknowledged, a small thing in return. Here we are acknowledging you. Here we are thanking you. Here we stand considering you. Here we stand calling upon you and giving praise to you, our King and our Creator. Truly you are deserving of such praise. And there is none like unto you, our King. All praise, glory, and honor be to your holy name, now and forevermore. Hallelujah! 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 Kaya! 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 Forever you live. Almighty Yah, 
Hallelujah. Selah. This time, I would like to take this opportunity to call upon anyone or anyone can volunteer who have it in your heart to read a psalm, to just acknowledge the creator, to thank him for your life or whatever he's done in your life. Because this is not a season to hold back. This is not a season to feel as if we belong here. We need to understand and know that the power that we serve is merciful to have us here today. Yeah. And we have to thank him, continue to acknowledge him, and remember the times that we are living in at this moment. Do we have anyone that would like to read a psalm? I would like to read a psalm. There's no one here to just acknowledge the creator and thank him for my life and to be here. Mark here would like to read one too. Hallelujah. I would like to read Slika. The 23rd Psalm. A Psalm of Dawi. Yehoah is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He guideth me in straight paths for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou, Yehoah, art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of Yehoah forever. Hallelujah. Malkiel, let us welcome him. He has a psalm that he would like to read. Hallelujah. Kodesh Tov. Kodesh Tov. Psalm 32. Psalm 32. Happy is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is pardoned. Happy is a man unto whom Yehoah counted not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones were away through my groaning all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My sap was turned as in the droughts of summer, Selah. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will make confession concerning my transgression unto Yehoah, and thou, thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin, Selah. For this, let everyone that is godly pray unto thee. In the, in the time when thou mayest be found, surely when the great waters overflow, they will not reach unto him. Thou art my hiding place, thou wilt preserve me from the adversary. With songs of deliverance, thou, shalt, thou wilt compass me about, Selah. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will give counsel, mine eye being upon thee. Be ye not as a horse or as a mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held with brit and brittle. They, that they come not near unto thee. Many are the sorrows of the wicked, but he that trusted in Yahuwah, mercy compasseth him about. Be glad in Yahuwah, and rejoice, ye rejoice, and shout for joy. All ye that are upright in heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you have any words that you would like to share with us? I just want to say, Toriya, for being with us, protecting us, guiding us, strengthening us, allowing us to bring in this holy season. And that's it. Hallelujah. Do we have anyone else that would like to read a psalm? There's no one else. I have a few words, very few, that I'd like to share with you. Mishare, you have a song? Okay. You, no, you can go ahead. Wonderful thing that all calendars are in sync. Yeah. Holy days are in sync with Shabbat. The Creator is being merciful on us all. It's like, y'all been doing a lot. <laughs> this is a simple calendar. 
It's Shabbat. It's for Yom Kippur. It's a blessing to be able to have uh, just a family here in Charlotte to worship with. A lot of folks just, you know, they're at home more. And it's just more holy days being at home, Yom Kippur alone. It's a blessing that we have our families mm -hmm. here, as well as being able to be set up online. Thank you, Brother Meshari uh, Netanyahu. I wanted to read um, Psalm 100 and you read the way I learned it. Mizmor le tola, Ariu le hua kol haris, Ribdu et yehua besimha, Bo le fana o bernana, Deo. Giving thanks to all those who read Psalms, may the Creator bless you, may He remember you, your families, everyone here this night, those that are tuned in, listening and watching over the internet, I thank the Creator for each and every one of your lives. May the Creator give us a new mindset as we've entered this new month. We truly need to consider, all of us, we really need to consider who we are and where we stand. We have to ask ourselves, are we truly what we say we represent? If we're saying we represent the creator and maker of heaven and earth, are we living as if we represent a creator and the maker of heaven and earth? and all holy power, are we truly representing him? We have to ask ourselves where our flaws are and really consider whether we're truly working on them and not tell ourselves any more lies or try to please or convince others that we're different we're something that we're not. You and I are not here to prove anything to people. We're here to prove something to this great power that we serve in Him alone. We're not here to try to show off and make anyone like or dislike us. We're here to live lives a certain way to please this power that we serve. And if anyone is doing the same thing as you are, you and them are going to be on the same page. And if you're not, it means they have a second or separate agenda. The power that we serve has been watching us for years. Are we still doing the same things that we've been doing for years? The way we deal with one another, the way we treat one another? We have to stop playing with ourselves and telling ourselves we're doing one thing when we know we're not. This is not a season and a time that we're in that we can take chances. This plague that's in the earth is taking lives. And we believe we can still continue to take chances. Take chances by the way we treat one another, the way we deal with one another. Those are the chances that I'm not that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about taking a chance walking outside without your mask. 
I'm talking about taking chances, playing with the creator and how we live and how we're carrying ourselves. And this power that we serve is holding us all accountable. In his mercy, we're here tonight. In his mercy, we, we're amongst the living and those that's made it this far without this virus and pandemic affecting us. In his mercy, we still have jobs and we're still able to sustain ourselves when so many people don't have a way to survive and provide for themselves. We're still here making it through all of this. The creator's provided a way for us. And yet, we have to still ask the question, have we made any significant changes in order for the creator to say, well, this group here is ready. This generation is ready. This is, the, this is what I've been looking for from Israel. Now I can say they're truly that group or that bunch that I want to take to represent me. You would think amidst this pandemic, we'd be getting better. We'd be considering life and really reflecting on ourselves and our lives and making significant change. Amidst a pandemic, a plague is in the earth. And we still have to ask ourselves, ourselves, where is the significant change? Imagine what the creator is asking himself if we have these questions amongst ourselves. We can only ask him for his mercy. And how long will we continue to plead that same plea? Give us mercy. Show us mercy. Eventually, mercy runs out. And the creator says, I've had enough. I'm only looking for a select group who's not just begging and, 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 and putting their lives and everything on the line of my mercy. Their actions is what counts. I see them trying to make significant change in their lives. And so I'm willing to extend mercy to those that are truly trying on this end. These are the areas that we have to begin to reflect on and act upon it. We have to stop just reflecting and reflecting and reflecting and we're not acting on anything. And we have to realize and understand that everything is not done or resolved overnight. We have to be willing to sit down and discuss issues with our brother and our sister when we have disagreements or misunderstandings. We cannot continue to act on anger and emotion and arrogance all the time. This is what Israel did when we had issues in the wilderness. The very same character and personality the creator hated and caused us to wander around the wilderness for 40 years, we're portraying these very same traits and personality traits and, and, character, and char characteristics here right in the lands where we've been scattered. And we don't even see and recognize it. When are we gonna acknowledge where our flaws are and say, you know what, I see a pattern here. You best believe the creator see the same pattern. And as long as he continue to see this pattern, he's going to keep us in this loop. The same 40-year loop that we were in in the wilderness is the same loop that we're in right here. And we don't even see or recognize it. May the creator give us understanding. May he help us see where we are going wrong. And may he give us the humility to acknowledge it and work in these areas and try to truly make change. Because only when we can see these areas that we need to work on and honestly, and I say that again, honestly acknowledge them, only then can we really start working on them and making change or act upon it. May the power of this universe remember the families throughout this earth 
and he give us the healing that we need mentally because we need mental healing. May he give us the insight that we need. May he show us when we're wrong so that we could understand and know that this is an area that I'm wrong in and I need to work on me as opposed to look at the next person because this is one of our weaknesses as individuals. May he intervene in these matters that we're faced with because we truly can't handle them alone. We think we can, but we need the creator's intervention here. Blessed be his holy name. You would, Kumu, and let us go over the last two stanzas in this prayer and then close out this new moon service. Thanking Yah again for his love, his kindness. We're going to start in the where it says, Praise ye Yehoah on this new moon of Etanim. We're going to sing, we're going to read it right through. As soon as we get to the next one, we're going to blow the horn and then we're going to sing Tikwe U and face the east and say another prayer to acknowledge the creator and maker of heaven and earth. Thanking Yah again for this night, for this moment to just see your beautiful faces, to praise the name of Yah and glorify him and thank him for truly he's awesome and there is none like the power that we serve. Hallelujah. Praise ye Yahuwah on this new moon of Itani. Praise ye him on all the days to come. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth Israel slumbereth not nor sleepeth. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Hallelujah. Blow the horn in the new moon. Make a trumpet sound. <laughs> trying to work with this little trumpet here. <laughs> Blessed art thou, Yehoah, who has brought us to another month. Blessed art thou who renewest the months, the moon, and the seasons. Blessed art thou who renewest the lives of thy people, Israel. Hallelujah. you are awesome words cannot express our gratitude to stand strong this very moment both my legs both of my hands all of my body parts intact I've seen people in wheelchairs paralyzed. I've seen people blind. I've seen people with limbs lost and missing. We all stand with our body parts intact. There are so many things that we could think on and thank you for almighty King. And so we know to face the East again and say, Toda, is nothing but a small thing because what you continue to do for us we can never stop thanking you for it we stand a nation in existence this day 
where nations have done far less than we've done to you, than what we've done to you, and they've been annihilated. We stand strong as a people in spite of the fact that we're in the lands of our captivity. Many times we forget this because of the blessings that we see ourselves receiving from you, Father. We forget sometimes that we're truly in the lands of our captivity because we have homes, we have cars, we have lives that we live. Some of us live in luxury. We have so many blessings that we could be thankful for. And sometimes we forget our true mission and what our focus needs to be on. We pray, oh Father, that you would keep us on the path. We pray, almighty King, that you would continue to keep us aware of what we stand for and what we should represent. We pray that you would touch the hearts of our youth, great King. I pray for them. That you, O oh Heavenly Father, would place a different spirit upon them. That you would once again, great King, change the minds of our people. I pray that you would remember, great King, our leaders, O oh, oh Heavenly Father. That you, Almighty King, would remove the hostility, the anger, the bitterness, the hatred that some of us have, the arrogance, the haughty root coat, and that you would show us all individually whether or not we have any of these character traits so that we can work on ourselves, O oh Father. Have mercy, O oh Yah, on our leaders. Remember, Almighty King, the men who lead your people in this era, in this day and time. Help them to see and understand the weight that they carry and the responsibilities that they carry. In your mercy, spare their lives, O Heavenly Father, because so many of them, you are taken off the face of this earth because they cannot see their flaws in the areas that they need to change. In your mercy, O Heavenly Father, spare their lives, great King, and give them humility so that they, O Yah, can make change where change needs to be made and live and not die because of the lack of humility and the arrogance that exists in them. We pray, O oh Father, that you would even place your spirit upon the generation following and let them not follow in the same vein of negativity. But let us, O oh Heavenly Father, see what positive changes we need to make and do so. Show us, O oh Yah, the character that you are in love of. That character that you were attached to, the one of Abraham, help us to see and return to the rock from whence we were hewn, as you told us, when we are lost and cannot find our way, turn to the rock from whence you were hewn. For that is the very personality that you gravitated towards and loved and chose to make a nation out of. But yet that personality is extremely rare in this day and time amongst our people. Place that once again amongst our people. Put that Ruach in our young men and young women that are growing up today and allow them to have love for one another and see what they want not to be amongst the older generation and be a better generation, a generation that would gain a blessing from you. Amen. For we lack that, O Most High. And we turn to you asking in your mercy that you would humble us, in your mercy that you would teach us, in your mercy that you would show us where we're wrong and give us the patience and humility to see our flaws and work on it. 
We thank you, Father, to be alive is a blessing and it allows us to know that you are merciful. We thank you, Abba, for truly you are great. And to be here alive for this holy season is indeed a blessing. And we can only continue to praise and glorify your name for in spite of it all, you are alive and a living power. And there is none like unto you, our King and our Creator. We give all praise, glory, and honor to you, almighty Yah. Highly you are to be praised, and there is none like unto you. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah! 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 Chaya! 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 Sila. O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. O Baruch Shekeko, Ma'adu, Sole Olam, Ma'adu, Sole Olam, Ma'adu, Sole Olam, O Baruch Shekeko, power of this universe bless each and every one of you according to the words of this blessing found in numbers the sixth chapter in the 24th verse it is yah our king who has the power to bless may he bless you all according to the words of this blessing Yisa Yehoah Panayo Aleka we asim leka. Shalom. Yehoah bless thee and keep thee. Yehoah cause his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Yehoah lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Hallelujah.
Sila. Holy Stroll of Hope. Blessed be the name of the power of this universe. Thank you. Thank you. We will be doing all of this, Lord. As Lord of art. Shuva. Yahoo. Revivo Alfe Israel. Hallelujah. 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 Tomorrow's services will be starting at what time? Same time, 12 o'clock. Hold this toe, Nicole. Hold this toe, everybody. Have a beautiful night.